And once again, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Coinaholics Autonomous. My name is Todd. Today, we are here to look at a Canadian quarter. Today's coin. The 100-year anniversary of the RCMP in Canada. The 1973 Canada 25 cent piece. Now there's definitely a few things to say about this coin, so we will just do that. Okay, as you can see, this uh, coin has two different dates on it. One says 1873, the other says 1973, which signifies that it is the 100 year anniversary of the creation of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. As you can see by the, well, it's a mounted police officer on the coin. So it's kind of an indicator. Throughout Canada, there are over 150 municipalities that are policed by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the RCMP for short. As well, the RCMP have a motto, and their motto is defending the law. Interesting. Originally, they were called and they were merged between the Northwest Mounted Police and the Dominion Mounted Police. They came together in 1873, and that's how the RCMP, or Royal Canadian Mounted Police, was formed. Okay, now, as far as logistics go, the metal content of this quarter that was made only in 1973 was 100% pure nickel. Its weight was 5.05 grams. This coin has a diameter of 23.88 millimeters. As well, it has a thickness of 1.6 millimeters. Now, there are two types of the 1973 Canada 25 cent piece. One is called the large bust and the other is called the small bust. Now the easiest way is to turn it over to the obverse and count the denticles. The large bust will have 120 denticles where the small bust will have 132 denticles. Or if you don't feel like counting denticles, just uh, if you happen to have a 1972, look at the obverse of the 72 and if it matches your 73, then that is the large bust. Also about the large bust, there was just a small amount, very small amount that were run off in the large bust. So they are quite rare as compared to the small bust. And I believe there were like over 130 million of the small bust that were run off. So if you, you know, can find a large bust, there is some money there. There are no errors or varieties for this year of this particular coin. Now, as far as the money goes, there are no significant sales of the small bust, but there are two sales of the big bust. Now, presently, the highest for the big bust, the grade um, at PCGS is uh, Min State 66. In 2021, 
an NGC Men's State 67, which is basically the same as a PCGS Men's State 66, but a Men's State 67 went for $3,995, which is pretty darn good for a quarter that, well, is not that old, really. There are presently two coins in PCGS at a Men's State 66. There's one coin at a Men's State 65, and there's one coin at a Men's State 64 plus. The second sale of note for this coin was the lone Men's State 65, and it was sold in October of 2013 for $646 for a Men's State 65. That's not entirely horrible at all. So if you happen to have one and it's in decent shape, there is money to be made. The highest for the large bust is Men's State 66, and for the small bust is Men's State 67 plus. Anyways, we've really dawdled here. So today, let us go to the obverse of the coin. Okay, we'll do this quick. Along the left-hand side, it says Elizabeth II. Along the right-hand side, D.G. Regina, or Regina, which means Queen by the Grace of God. With the bust of Queen Elizabeth II, she was 39 years old at the time of this portrait, and yeah, as you can see, I actually have a bag full of these things, but um, yeah, I wasn't about to pick through, through to find the best one. The detail in this coin is really high. It really is. But the fields show that this particular coin is, in fact, circulated. Yeah, circulated. But it's a really fine example of, you know, this is, by the way, the uh, large bust. So, yeah, there is a little bit of money there. Now, let us go to... The reverse of the coin. Okay. Along the top, it says Canada. Below that, to the left-hand side, it says 25 cents. Below that, it says 1873. Now, if you skip all the way to the other side of the horse, it says 1973. With the bust of a mounted... Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer on his horse. Above that is a small maple leaf. The detail of this coin is actually phenomenal, but like the obverse, the fields say circulated. Would this make, um, you know, like Min State 61, maybe 62? Yes. But yeah, there's really no money there. Not that it's all about money, but anyways, that is all I have to say about the 1973 100 year commemorative coin for the RCMP Canada Quarter. If you haven't yet, I would appreciate you liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. Next time's coin will be the 1903 Indian Head Penny or Cent. And as I say in all my videos, be safe, be smart, and enjoy your coin search. Goodbye. What?